where harshness rules. You show compassion, man. You sit out like a sore thumb. It's like a, a rose growing out of concrete. The day I step out the prison, I, I decided that we just can't let it go on and go on. Somebody got to stand and break the cycle. I'm on Esplanade and Dauphine. Come back around and come up on Esplanade. If you're in a hole and you're looking out for help, a guy may pass by with a rope and drop a rope down. But if the rope's not long enough, it's not reaching you. But here come a guy like myself and jump down in the hole. And the guy look at me and say, man, are you crazy? <laughs> Why you jump down in here? Proud of you, man. Proud of you. And I just tell him to trust me and follow me because I've been here before and I know the way out. He's not answering. He come too far, he didn't got his diploma. I, that's what I understand, why he done got lost like that. Let me see if I can reach him at another number. Okay. So it, it came out to be something bad turned into something positive. Mm -hmm. And if they can't own up to their mistakes and be changed for the better so y'all both can grow, you got to go. You got to grow. Okay. Uh, the Faith Planet is a place that provides transitional health care for People recently coming out of prison, they're trying to get back into society. First thing we want to do is find out what type of health care do they need and try to provide that type of health care. Right now, uh, you taking medication for you that? No. Oh, that when I left, they didn't give me anything. They just rolled me out the door. We basically ask them the type of medication they are taking, if so. Hey, doc. Do they have Medicare? I have a guy over here with me. He needs some medication. Could we provide that? No, it didn't swell up on me before, but it wasn't this bad. So what we want, we want to get to see a doctor to find out exactly what's wrong. They'll tell you what to do. We want to see people healthy. What's your name? Mom, down. Miles, down. Miles, down. Miles, down. Miles. Hey, what's your name? Show them where they can go to get help. Take them where they can go to get help. We navigate. Okay. <clears throat> Checking in? Yes, I'm bringing Mr. Miles over here to get a checkup. Sister. Coming out of prison, most guys are not trusting of, of doctors. Now you're not seen as, as a human being, you're a number. If they didn't like you, you may never get seen by a doctor. It was a tragic living in that environment with that type of uh, health care because it, it wasn't. Well, that's it wasn't just it. <laughs> so you say health care, yeah, because, but people. you're dealing with people who didn't care. Right, exactly. Exactly. So it wasn't exactly. health care. It was. <laughs> not, not, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what it was. <laughs> and, uh, man, it, you know, I seen a lot of guys perish as a result of that. You know. Doc, this is down miles. And even if you saw a doctor, you may not have gotten the attention you needed. So you don't know if you're well or you're sick. In the institution, it was many occasions like that. I had to um, step forward because no one else would do it. People had become so intimidated by the forces that be that they wouldn't stand against. It was a tough environment, man. So how'd it go, D? Man, it was beautiful, man. You know, I, you know, I know, man. And that's what's important, a line of communication, showing compassion, showing that person that you are concerned about him or her as an individual. Because a person don't care what you know if you don't care about them. You know what I'm saying? So, man, every day is that's what it takes some time. Every yeah, day is a blessing. Tell me you love me. one thing. But if you show me love, then that's another. You gotta dig in you. 
I tried to reach back for as many as I could reach. I got big arms. <laughs> 